Hello and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what would you like to go over today? Well, can we take a look at some of the newer features that were added in relation to the uh, user-defined fields? Sure, that'd be a great topic. Um, there's basically three new features. Uh, the first being, um, and this is probably the oldest of the newer features, is that you can set a default value. So if mm -hmm. you want it to default to a particular value when the user first goes in, and then they can change it from there. Before, right. you couldn't do that, it would just always be blank. Mm -hmm. um, now we can, the second thing is we can also set a data type. Mm -hmm. So if one of the fields you want somebody to enter is a, a, a date field is, or is date information or a number information, you can set that date, uh, that data type on the field and then Enterprise will make sure that a date is entered mm -hmm. or a number is entered okay. um, when you go to save the record. So that's another feature. And then the third one is um, on all of our standard component types, you can now um, add another tab in estimating order entry with additional user-defined fields. Uh, I think there's several of them. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like what the mailing component has, uh, which was only for the mailing component initially, and now we've opened that up for all the other component types. Sure. Okay, excellent. Okay. Can we take a look at the setup in standards? Sure. So I'm going to open up uh, standards file maintenance. And we're first going to go up to the file menu and go into system settings. The first the reason why I'm going here is because we're going to go into the component type section. And this is where you determine um, what component types you want to show that extra tab for the user defined fields. Um, the mailing component will always have this to yes because that's always been part of the mailing components. But now you have the ability to add it for the other component types. So I've added it for both the sheet fed and the web in my database, but you can add it for any of them. Um, so once you've done that and you save those settings, you can now go into the file menu and go down to use the defined fields. And if we scroll down, we have a new option here called standard components. And for each of the standard components, you can define the user-defined fields. And let's take a look at how many. We've got 40 of them. So uh, as long as you name the user-defined field, it will show up on that tab. If you don't name it, it'll be blank. You'll notice these other two features we talked about where you could put in a default value. So in this case, I have a field called press check required. And as you know, you can create a list of choices. So I have my list of choices. And now I've put in a default value of yes, and I have a data type field here of text. The data types we can pick from here are either text, number, or date. I've added one here called a pre press check date, and I put in a default value of uh, the kind of blank date in SQL, made it a date field. And then I have another one called additional requirements. Um, so in those uh, new features of the default value and date type are here for the standard components, but they're for other user-defined fields mm -hmm. throughout the system as well. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Can we see how it looks and functions in estimating order entry? Sure. So I will close out of here and we'll go into estimating order entry and take a look. So I'll add a, a new order here. And I won't bother filling out anything here. We'll just go right into the component and take a look at the user-defined fields. So I'm going to add a sheet fed component. And I have the user-defined fields here at the component level. So we'll take a look at those first. So I have my, a product type field. I have one for a date received and a number of files. So say I put something in here uh, that's not a date. I'll just put in a number, 12. Um, when I go to hit the save button here, it's going to yell at me because it's not a valid date. So I'll put in here a real date. Same thing with uh, the number of files field. If I put in the word 10, when I go to hit the save button here, it's going to tell me, hey, that's not a number. So I actually have to put in a numeric value and then it would let me save it from here. Um, let's go over to the user defined fields in this section and you can see how my press check came in with my default value of yes and then from here I can change it. I have my uh, press check date here. That's the default and I can leave that in there if I don't want to put in a date. This one is just a text field. I can type in whatever I want. And now that I've got those all set, um, back to my header here, I've got the correct values here. I'll be able to save it without error. 
Okay. okay. Perfect. That all makes sense. Great. Well, do you have Thanks any other so. questions? No, I think that was straightforward. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlamme. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.